Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Trevor Kenyon. And welcome to the Geek Group for part 5,283 in building your Tesla coil. Today, we're going to put this on top. We're going to trap that inside in its little height cage thing, because this is going to be somewhat adjustable. Right. And we're going to wind your primary. All right. And we're going to do this all in record time, because i got to go pick up Vicky at the airport. So we're going to rock out on this. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So we've got our base from last time, and it's, it's mounted. It's happy. You have both thunder. And your cocks, so you're set. You just now, gave the answer to the. Oh, it's okay. They figured it out by now. Ah, Somebody's good. figured it out. Now we're gonna line this up over the hole, okay? And we'll just look down and oh, that doesn't work at all. Okay, well we'll just line it up this way. It doesn't need to be exact. It needs to be just rough. And we set this over, gently, so we don't scratch it too bad. All right. Now square it up. Now you want to match the edges here, so pick across and get them to match, and then I'll pick across this way. You can't, you can't do it like this and get them to match. You got to pick opposites and just make them match, and it should be pretty close automatically. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? Yeah. All right. So we're set there. This is where we want it, and we want to do that now because once this is mounted, it won't be that easy to get this in and out. Right. Well, actually, we could just pop the bottom off and take it out if we have to, but that's probably going to get glued, maybe. Are we I putting it? We're going to make a stand here? for that, and that'll hold oh. it up, and then you can adjust coupling. Okay. So it's, it's a novel little thing. I've never tried it before, and I figured if I'm going to go with an experimental design, it could quite possibly just totally melt down. I figured I'd do it on your coil. All right. Okay. So with that, all we have to do is drill and tap some holes. Now, hold things tight while we do the first two. Once we get one in, it'll hold position, but it'll pivot on that one. Right. Once we get two in, we're set. So... I'm just going to, and I'm using the original mounting holes that we had from before. My problem is the bolt is that long, and if I do that all the way through, we're, oh, it's close. It's, it's so very close. Just about going to come out. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go in to about here. Yeah, that'll be where we do it. So I won't be using the original mounting holes. So, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Don't move. <laughs> ah, you move. No, we're fine. Okay. Okay. Now we got that. What? What? There was that there under it. There absolutely was not. It was in my ear. Feel better now? Whatever. Don't laugh. It's not funny. It's a serious business. I know. Okay. It's warm and scratchy. All right. Now, we've got a quarter 20 tap, so we're using a number 7 drill bit, which we're absolutely not because we broke the number 7 drill bit, and this is actually a little bit smaller. Okay. But you'd want to use a number seven drill bit, and if you had used a number seven drill bit, this part would be a lot easier because it would actually fit in the hole. But it fits enough, and it's UHMW, so it's not like I'm going to break the tap. If you figure out how to break a tap doing, you know, something this big and only a three-quarter inch piece of UHMW, I will be mightily impressed, and you'll win a cookie. All right. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's lovely. It's everything you've ever wanted. It is all the joy and happiness in your entire world right there, encompassed in one perfectly threaded hole. All right, this is going to take a minute, so we're going to drill and tap all our holes. And when we come back, we'll bolt it together. And for the first time, it'll actually look somewhat like a Tesla coil. And then we'll wind our primary, and it'll really start to look like a Tesla coil. All right. Oh, my God. 
And we're back with the last bolt. I love time lapse. It makes things go so much more quickly. It does. Yeah. I do that when I go to like people's weddings and stuff too, and you're sitting there for like three hours bored. I just time lapse it. You're gonna invent that, aren't you? <laughs> I wish I could. Oh. Just like a time bubble. You've never sat through a two hour marketing meeting. Hey, let's talk about budgets. <laughs> and I have to like feign interest. Like, oh, please. Can we look at the proofs a 15th time? Ooh. All right, so we have it. And when it's all done, this will be on a riser. And it'll hold it up like that. And if we just pooch it, we can just bolt the thing to the bottom or glue it or something. But that's, look, for the first time, it vaguely resembles a Tesla coil-esque shape. So now we have to do the primary. Now this is a very hard, intensive process. So it requires an amazing degree of focus. You ready? Here's how to do a primary. First, go to the store and purchase a 50 or greater foot coil of uh, quarter inch soft copper tubing. This is commonly used for installing air conditioners and things like that. Or you could go in your garage and find a moldy, jank ass, nasty, corroded, just totally pooged bit of old copper soft tubing that's like was in there when you got the house. Don't hate or on so, one of I, my boxes. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, hey, I got I'm you not, a new one. I'm not one, doing that. I? I'm an artist. I got you a new one, didn't I, I? You did. And damn it, we love you for that. This one's only got a little bit of oxidation on it, so keep telling me how new it is. Yeah, see, the oxidation says you it suck. It wasn't that much when, it was, I, when hey, I bought it. I don't, it oh, yeah, because sitting here for two weeks did that. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Eh. All right, I'm going to leave the little protective caps on the end just to, for. Spice? I don't know. So you drop this right over. Um, first, we want to make sure our coils go the right way. OK, our coils travel from inside to out, going counterclockwise. So we're going to put our point that way. Yeah, I think you're going to have to okay. take that out off because I, don't I think know I think we're fit. going to have to. Well, also, we're going to have to drill a hole. Oh, yeah. Right. It's OK. I got this. Drilling the hole, easy. You sure? You sure you can handle it? Drilling the hole without drilling a hole in the prior or in the secondary. That's where the art comes in. But drilling the hole, I can do that. I'm just kissing through that hole. This is terrifying. <laughs> I'm like, why the hell didn't I remember this? Oh, there's like a thousandth of an inch. I can feel it rubbing just on my pop finger. It it's far enough away. Is it? Yeah. Are I, you sure? Yeah. It's All right. I'm trusting you. It's your secondary. I'm believing in you. All right. We're cool. All right. We scuffed that up. That'll be fine. All right. So we're going to put a little bend in this. Steve, do we have one of those? Uh, you use it for bending brake lines. 
The funny little mandrel handle things, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You also use it for refrigerant lines. Well, hey, there you go. If <laughs> you realize this is refrigeration tube, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can bend it easy. Yeah. I but know. if you want to put a nice, pretty 90 in it, then bend it over a drill bit. I wouldn't do it over something with that tight of a radius, but we could bend it over that handle. Here. And it kinks. Yeah. Now it's kinky. That's always better, I like that though. You're one of them chicken guys, aren't you? Hmm? Well, there's some people that like to, hold that up like that. There's some people that like to use a feather. And then there's always the guy that wants to use the whole chicken. It's you and Gonzo, pretty much, isn't it? And who? Gonzo, the Muppet. Oh. Had a romantic interest in chickens. Okay, yeah. I'm like, what are you talking Gonzo! about? Gonzo! My, that's my vice principal's nickname. <laughs> They call your vice principal Gonzo? Yeah, because his last name's Gonzalez. Oh, okay. Hold that up like that. All right. Now what I'm going to do is lay this in as we go around. And we'll hope like hell it fits in the groove. See, we just lay it into the groove and work our way around. You're going to have to spin that. Yep, I am. Okay. I don't think we need that anymore. I think the best we're gonna do is a spring bender anyway. Okay, you gotta you gotta turn the whole thing. Oh, right. okay. sorry. All right, you got it? Yeah. All right. Ah. And I'm not working to get the inside perfect yet. As long as it's properly lined up to the groove, it's okay because we can come back and hammer it in there in a second and then really beat the hell out of it. All right. And since we did this all on a CNC, what are, man, what? I'm thinking. What? Since we did this all on a CNC, <laughs> it's like perfect, which is really cool. <laughs> Primary coil iron. form, huh? The tubes aren't all iron. Well, no, but we'll smooth it all out as we go. But that's that's your rough primary. Right. Okay, and we just tap them all down. And what you gotta do is there's actually a couple little bumps, and we'll start at the middle, and we'll work our way out, just going in circles around. Again. Well, yeah, but now you're just tapping it with a hammer, so it's it's not so bad. But it's in, and now when we do this, boom! You it looks like a Tesla coil. it out again. It'll pop back in. We still gotta trim that and sort that all out. Because that's going to be one connection okay. for the thing. And I might actually take out, take out this to about here and drill that hole. But this is full lay-in. So now we figure out what we want for safety clearances for arcs. Because that is probably too close. That would probably get a secondary arc. It might be fine. I don't know. But I'm going to take it back to here so that we've got a good half inch of plastic off the secondary just for safety. And then we'll bring that back under because with all this plastic, it'll insulate it. And then that brings our two connections over to here. And down on the bottom, we've got four quadrants, which gives us space for capacitors, power supply, and toaster, or whatever, but really, oh, gap. So we'll have caps, 
um, transformer and gap, and then over here will be the connections up, and we're set. So next week, we start on the static gap. You're going to have an adjustable static spark gap. Okay. Cool. But at this point, it actually, it, look, it looks like a Tesla coil for varying values of Tesla coil, but it's cool. So that's a start. All right, so we've got our, we've got our project done for the day. We're cool. We'll be back next week for a static adjustable spark gap, which is going to be built out of two pieces of the monitor mounts for the captain's command center. The monitors are, they're, they're really nice Ergotron monitor stands. Mm -hmm. Well, they make it so that they can clamp on the edge of the desk, or you can drill it and like rigidly mount them. I drilled and mounted them, so I got the clamps. Oh, okay. So we're going to take two of the clamp bits and make that into an adjustable gap. All right. So that'll be cool. All right. Until next week, you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Trevor Kenyon. Louder! Say it loud! Say it plenty loud. Okay. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and learn more at www.thegeekgroup.org. Have fun, guys. We'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.